As we said recently here on this channel, when it comes to this update, probably some of the hypest bit of content is the hypercharges that came out. And in yesterday's video, we ended up discussing the best hypercharge in the game in my eyes and what I've been hearing in the community being Fang. But today we are gonna be flipping it on its head. What are the worst? And that's Mikos. Mikos is the worst. But as the title would imply, we aren't going to be diving into Mikos hypercharge here, even though I think it's the worst. We are going to be diving into one that I think also fits kind of in that ballpark, and that is Pro's hypercharge. Now, what I've been hearing in the community and just my general opinions as well, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting Crow's hypercharge at the very last place. I mean, bro, I ended up seeing this tweet just the other day ago by Ash. Someone over here on Reddit ended up producing this clip, which is ridiculous, with some damage buffs, Crow can literally take out a high safe with one super attached to the hypercharge. It's nuts. So he has Ruff's super, 8-bit station, one attack, plus the damage gear. Wild. But the reason I think Crow's hypercharge is catching a lot of flack in the community on how good it is, is because it takes forever to get the thing. So let's put it into practice. Let's see if this is truly a bad hypercharge here, and we'll come to a consensus at the end of the video. Hypercharge, power level 11, pin, spray, profile icon. All right, so this is the very first time I'm using this Crow Hypercharge here. And from what I've been seeing inside the community, it's kind of the same exact fears that I've had about this Hypercharge coming off of Fang's Hypercharge Showcase. How many times you were able to get that thing in one game? It was ridiculous. And what I've been hearing from a lot of people is just, there's some showdown games that they literally don't even get close to getting one Hypercharge on Crow. And I feel like that's really the testament. If you can't get the thing, it's not gonna be a good Hypercharge, no matter how good it actually is on paper, right? Taking out high safes and things like that. Let's get a good idea. Let's see if we can get one in this game here. It truly is kind of tricky. It's the nature of Crow, kind of how he plays. It's just this annoying chip damage. You're not going to really walk away that much getting a bunch of supers with Crow either in a game. So why would we get a bunch of hypercharges too? Things are kind of getting a little bit crazy. We're about 600 trophy matchmaking here. We got to beat to the bottom. Let's try to... No way. Well, that didn't go the way that we had hoped. Let's really dial in here. Let's try to do our best. Okay, let's try to get one hypercharge. That is the goal of this game. All right, we got a Leon. What you up to, bud? Everyone's just going to kite away. And that's the thing about Crow. Like, you're never really really going to get that crazy bursty damage unless you super in on someone, you know? Or get right on top of them. People are going to keep their distance up against the Crone Showdown, that's for dang sure. But as you can see, we got like nothing. <laughs> this Leon's trying to get something too. Does he have hypercharge? Yeah, he does. We got a BB. Hey, we got some health here to work with. I want this hypercharge, Mr. B. Mrs. B, excuse me. We got a tanky BB. This is the perfect, perfect opportunity to get some hypercharge going here. Dude, it's taking us a while to get a super here, right? Okay, BB, do your thing, dude. But we're not even halfway. I feel like I've done so much already. I've done so much work out here, man. I'm working hard. I burned through three gadgets just to slow down these tanky punks so I can get a hypercharge, deal more damage. I'm only halfway. Come on, we have to at least be able to see this one time, right? No one's gonna like dive in on a crow, right? No one's going to. They're going to keep their distance. It's annoying. I'm not gonna be able to get it. I just got a bad feeling. Nah, dang it. Yep, we weren't able to do it. Mortis Hag does. I am not going to stop showdown until I get one, literally one hypercharge. All right, so we got a fang up here to the left. I'm like disregarding power cubes this entire time. All right, so we're coming across a fang. It's nice to have someone with a little bit of health. I am literally going to disregard completely power cubes. I don't care about them. I just want damage. I'm going for damage on people. My daggers will be going to brawlers, not power cubes. I want a hypercharge. So we're fourth of the way there. Ooh, what's going on down here? Okay, Fang, sorry to do it to you, brother. Okay, dude, I feel like we're putting in work right now. We are putting in work. All right, now we got to run away. All right, we're almost to our second super, it's looking like, which is pretty decent. Throwing him down. We can't get clipped, like, at all by that Colt. Colt's down. Oh, my goodness. I just want one hypercharge. Barley, do me a solid, brother. Do me a freaking solid. Let me hit you a few times, dude. Or the pearl. Just don't harass me, Barley. Don't harass me. Like, I feel like the best way to get a hypercharge is dealing damage with your super. Okay, wait. Where's my super? 
No, I was so close. Second place. I want a hypercharge. All right, one more showdown. We got to switch modes. We got to get a hypercharge at least once in this episode, man. Like, dude, I'm trying to be as aggro as I possibly can. More aggro than you should be here with Crow. And it just ain't working out, man. Okay, we're dealing a lot of damage to Rosa, which is phenomenal. Like, I don't care who I go for or if I get a kill. Honestly, it's in our, my, our best interest to not get the kill. So we can just have more HP bodies out here too. But honestly, like, I think the best way to actually get this hypercharge is to use our super on someone, right? Okay, we got a Chester. Nice. Okay, how many shots have we been... I ain't losing this. I ain't losing this. How many shots have we tagged these people on? Like, how many basic attacks did I use against that Rosa? And we are going to be getting one here shortly. But we don't have a super to accompany it. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm starting to feel like hypercharges are really good on brawlers that can get a lot of hypercharges, right? A lot of super cycling. And that is literally Edgar and Fang, right? The two. They can get their super so often. But here, like with these chip damage brawlers, it's impossible. And especially at like a brawler like Crow, by nature, they're just going to play like this. Uh, people against you. They're not going to come to you. Oh my gosh. Is the Chester trying to team with the Fang? Nice. Okay, we got him. I'm going to pinch from the bottom here. One super is all I ask. One super, please. For the love that... Yes, I got it! Woohoo! I got it! I got it! And we won because of it. Okay, okay. So the question is, you know, literally, the reason this hypercharge isn't good is not because of what it does, but literally how hard it is to get. It is very substantial what you can do with it, it looks like. But dude, I've played how many games? And I haven't been playing great, but how many games have I played here? One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You might not have seen all these games, but I played eight games and that was my first hypercharge, bro. <laughs> like, I promise you, the way that game modes are structured nowadays, at least, like, you have Wipeout. Wipeout's games go so fast. You're not going to get a Crow hypercharge unless you're doing the most in that game. It's going to be really, really challenging. Why not try to get it in Wipeout, hey? Let's try. I can promise you we would be here all freaking day and we wouldn't get it here in this game mode <laughs> on this map specifically as well because they're just going to be doing this long range chip damage. We'll be lucky to get a freaking super on my boy Crow in this game, but we're up against a Colt, a Carl, and a Colette. Nice. Okay, we're doing something here. All right, peppering. We're doing our one... One chip damage shot a time, right? We land one dagger. That's kind of the gameplay with Crow, right? Just one dagger. Get that chip. Get that burn going. Don't let them heal up. That's the nature of Crow. So maybe we got to play a little bit different here. Let's try. Okay. We're sweating out here now. Nice. Ha! Ah! Okay. We got to wiggle. If we want to get this hypercharge, like, I don't care if we die. We got to get in there if we want to hypercharge here. Am I going to eat my words? Maybe this map is something like a wipeout map that you would be able to get the hypercharge on because it's going to be a long game. But I'm just thinking of all the bad randoms, you know, all those freaking randoms that go in and die right away, which we are that random. But I'm sorry, we need the hypercharge here. Okay, not bad. All right, we're close to a hypercharge, guys. The game isn't even halfway over. What? What is my problem? Why did I think this would be incredibly hard? But I'm guessing we're only gonna have time for one hypercharge here during this match, which, you know, a great hypercharge, functioning hypercharge, like what it actually does, like crows, can be the difference in a match. Okay. Nice, we got it. You guys ready? Oh my goodness, we tanked like crazy, got two kills out of it. Sorry I went into focus mode, but you know, that wasn't that bad. If we can get one a game, I guess that's Ds. But my goodness, you showdown mains out there, I'm sorry for you. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be very hard. But we got one there, barely. And I was playing like stupidly aggro, right? We died four times to try to get that hypercharge. So most crow gameplay on that map, especially at high trophy ranges, is just gonna be that chip damage at the very back, right? Just slowly whittling away and being annoying. Let's give this a go in heist. Basically what you would imagine being OP on this guy, right? The clips. So let's see if we can kind of recreate it.
made it. We're up against a Miko, Dinah, and Anita. Oh boy. I don't know how this is going to go. The Mikos are kind of terrorizing these low health brawlers like Crow. I got a feeling we're going to die quite a bit, but let's get it. We got some bushes to help us out. Oh, never mind. Mr. Dinah holding the stun. Nice. Focused. We are focused, locked and loaded. I just don't want it. Like, Nita's not going to do anything to your high save. Okay, I just don't want to give up the super because I actually want this to do something in this game mode, a hypercharge. Okay, he's going to get us. I'm dead focused right now. This ain't looking too bad. We're definitely going to get a hypercharge. Okay, let's go. 75 to 74. All right, we're going to need some assistance on this Nita bear. Bro, guys, help. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're here. You guys ready? Nice. Oh my gosh. What the frick? <laughs> I feel like it's just been bad in Showdown. It's not that bad in 3v3s. I mean, that game was really, really slow. Like a fantastic team comp going up against them. They're going to make the games way, way faster and more competitive. It's not bad. It might not be the most fun hypercharge because you're only getting basically one a match, right? You're only going to get one a match on a somewhat decently long match, but it's still decent. Like you get that hypercharge, you get to the safe. You're dealing a crap ton of damage, man. So in conclusion here with what I've been able to see, I feel like in a game mode like showdown it's not going to be fantastic i feel like you're not going to get it a whole lot and it's not going to be incredibly meaningful in a game mode like showdown seeing that you're only really going to go in for one kill right you're jumping on one thing but in 3v3s you know in wipeout as well as heist it wasn't too bad we got it once in wipeout if we play better maybe a second time i doubt it it's probably only going to be one but then in heist that is like game breaking if you get one you're dealing a lot a lot of damage so in consensus the curl hypercharge i won't say is crappy or really 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 bad or anything like that there's definitely better out there and that came out with the six but i just don't think it's the most fun of a hypercharge seeing that you only get it once a game if you're lucky enough to get it that much. But yeah, be sure to let me know what you guys are thinking about Crow's Hypercharge. It might be worth the wait to chill on it for that 5,000 coins just to hold off. Maybe they'll buff it or rework it in some way. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure to like it. I'd appreciate that. And we'll be talking super soon. Adios, everyone.